Well, good morning, day four today. The, uh, both the flies and the temperature haven't got any better, that's for sure. So, plan of attack today is I'm going to head back out to that um, Sandalwood Cutters Road, and I'm pretty sure that's going to take me down to the Evanston Menzies Road. Uh, I can shoot along there for a bit and then head north up to Mount Elvira. Mount Elvira Station. Take a note of the bull dust on this track on the way out. Unbelievable, never seen so much dust in my life. All right, I gotta uh, I gotta get in the car, get some aircon going and try and get these bloody flies out because this is just horrendous. Pretty bloody ordinary state of affairs when you uh, have to wear a fly net in the car. The car's absolutely full of them. So, spend the next half an hour now trying to get the bastards out. Be gone, you mothers. about 10 to 11 at the moment um, so I can see the Evanston Menzies Road on the map now probably about 10 kilometres in front of me um, which means that I'm probably going to get into Mount Elvire earlier than I'd hoped to I will stop and check a couple of things out on the way now I think I'm just going to have to slow things down a little bit because um, I'm going to bloody rock up there too early and just get smashed with these flies again. Well I can't see any tracks that look like they're heading to the north. So for some reason I've got um, this place Blake pointed about two kilometres further north which is up and over the other side of the rock but I can't see any tracks going that way. I don't even know where I got the waypoint from, but um, I guess I'll uh, get out, pull a camera out, show you around. I don't know if I'll be climbing up the top, it's too bloody hot. I probably really need to climb that big bastard and get a vantage point to see what's at the back of it, but I don't know if I have the inclination. Although it's showing 40 degrees in the car, it's actually not too bad out here, apart from the flies. I'm up in front of the um, those boulders now. I kept walking a little bit. And just as far as the eye can see, all you can see is rounded outcrop everywhere.
Whew. Well, I couldn't see any evidence of a well or access up to the north. So uh, I'll keep plugging on. Got another half an hour on lunch. I'll be ready in the travel buddy. But uh, I got to get on the road. And look at all these flies that just come in. This is just incredible. I'll try and shoot these bastards out for the next bloody half an hour now. Little bastards. All right, we'll drop in here to Johnson Well. Have a look. Memory serves me correct, it's a covered tank, should have water in it. Um, I might run the gauntlet and have me lunch as well. See how many sultanas I can knock off. All the roof timbers, or well, the roof has collapsed. I'm sure that it wasn't this bad last time I was here. That's a nice shade of green. Holy mackerel. She's full. But, uh, yeah, that roof was uh, intact last time I was here. From memory, that um, hand pump works too. So, it's, uh, last time I was here, you had to lift that flat to uh, get in to see the water, but not anymore. The, uh, the wooden beams have collapsed, the roof's come down. The photographs I've taken of Johnson's tank shows a marked degradation between 2015, when I was last here, and 2021. There you go. The very small summit of Johnson Rock. That's all, folks. Well, it might still be stinking hot outside, 40 degrees, the car's telling me, but um, there's a change in the weather. Hopefully it gets cooler over the next couple of days without any rain. Well, I'm on the um, Mount Elvire Road now for the homestead. I uh, thought I'd stop and grab some firewood because it's a bit sparse up there at the homestead. It's another 35 kilometres or something up. Just noticed uh, this dam. I'm guessing it's a well that's been gated off. Yeah, I can't see how deep it is. Except that looks pretty deep. Since I've been here, I'm going to quickly show you around. Welcome to Mount Elvire. I'll give you a quick walk around. I don't know why the doors have been taken off the hinges, that's a bit silly. Hasn't changed much anyway. Kitchen and dining room, lounge room in here, still with the lounge chairs in there. That's the main homestead. Down that track, about 500 metres, you cross a little salt lake, and just on the other side, you can just see it from here. Got a nice little small set of breakaways. You can find a few people camp up in there occasionally. And uh, this track here, which goes up to the north. 
that will take you all the way to the summit of Mount Elvira. You can just see between the water tank and the comms bloody shed. I told you I was going to grab a fly net and a beer in that order. Cheers everyone, well deserved. I've only done um, 160 kilometres for the day, but I don't know, it just seems to have been a long day. you got to be joking, look at the inside of my windscreen. Far out. That's crazy. Jeez Louise.